At Senair, we are progressing in the integration of the mirror cells M2 and M3 for the ELT, the extremely large telescope under contract from the European Southern Observatory, ESO. These secondary and tertiary mirrors are four meters in diameter and more than three tons each. The supports for these huge mirrors have two main functions. Firstly, it keeps mirrors in position with a surface error below the diameter of a flu virus, despite the elevation position of the telescope, that is, regardless of the gravity vector, so that the mirror support assembly can be placed either horizontally or vertically. For this purpose, a complex Wiffle tree system has been implemented that supports the mirror through 18 points. These supports are structured by a system of flexible elements to avoid transmitting parasitic stresses to the mirror. A subsequent similar system supports the mirror laterally through 14 points. Secondly, it aligns the mirror support assembly with the rest of the telescope's optics in six degrees of freedom. This function has been implemented using large linear actuators in a hexapod configuration. Each actuator has a capacity to move 7,000 kilos with a submicron resolution. All joints are also based on flexible copper beryllium elements, which support the weight of the whole system, even in the severe earthquake conditions of its final location in Chile. The unit, which includes the support and mirror, has dimensions of approximately 6 meters in diameter and a total weight of 13 tons. In the coming weeks, we are planning to integrate the mirror plus cell assembly in the test system that will allow us to change the orientation of the system and thus measure its performance in the different elevation conditions. Senair, the way to see the future.